Larry, tell us about this expansion and what does it mean for not only you know, your business, but for the Mahoning Valley in general and some of the services that folks need out here. Well, I think the most important thing to note is that uh, untreated addiction really affects all aspects of our community. Uh, it affects our school system, it affects our, our law enforcement system, our crime rates, it affects our ability to have a healthy workforce you know, for economic development. So the whole reason for this project was to provide more access to treatment for people who need it for both their drug and alcohol addictions and their mental health services. Any new services associated with this expansion that you didn't have before, or is this an expansion of existing services? Mostly what this is going to allow us to do is not only expand the services that we are currently providing for our clients, but put a lot of emphasis on providing services for their families. In order for people to be successful in their recovery, they need to have that support around them. And oftentimes that means that the families need some, uh, some support also, and this is going to allow us to provide that. And what sort of amenities are in this new expansion? Can you explain that? Well, the nice thing about this, we were able to add 15 more counseling offices. We were able to add two new group rooms uh, and also a babysitting area because a lot of our clients who come in for treatment and, you know, they're trying to talk to their counselor, they're trying to work the program, and, you know, they have to take care of the kids. They have those responsibilities. So we are able to provide this service for them so that at least for a little while while they're in treatment, we know that someone's taking care of the kids and that they can focus on their recovery. And often in times when, when, the, uh, when the economy is down, you often see levels of addiction go up and increase. What are you seeing out there at the moment? And uh, you know, what, what sort of feedback are you getting from the community? And how important is it, I guess, to have services like yourselves here? Well, the number one cause of accidental deaths in the state of Ohio is no longer car accidents. It's overdose of prescription drugs. And I think that's a problem because from the federal side, uh, the funding that's been available for addiction services has continued to decline year after year after year. And so therefore, we're just having almost an impossible time of trying to keep up with the, the, the need that we have for people to, to access services. So more and more people are not accessing services. And the frightening thing to me is that a lot of the people who are not being able to access services are working people who have insurance, but their insurances don't cover addiction treatment or other behavioral health services. Anything uh, that, that stands out about this particular expansion and really what, what drove it? Well, I think it was driven strictly by the demand for the services, and it's a sad state that that's the case. But also, as an organization, uh, I want to thank our board because of the support that they gave us, because we are receiving no federal or state money for this expansion. This was totally uh, financed by uh, a private nonprofit organization like Meridian Community Care, simply because we know that our community desperately needs more services like this.